explosion at Moscow's busiest airport, Domodedovo. At least 31 people killed. Uh, what more details do you know for us? Well, at least 31 people killed, about 130 people injured. 20 of them are in a critical condition, and the death toll unfortunately continues to rise. I think one of the biggest concerns on people's minds at, at this point is that if you uh, remember the previous experience of terrorist attacks here in Moscow and uh, across Russia, uh, most of them were carried out in a coordinated manner. So there would be one explosion which would be followed by the second one or even a third one some uh, 30, 40 minutes later. That was the scenario back in March of 2010 when two Chechen suicide bombers detonated themselves on the uh, Moscow metro system uh, right uh, in the midst of morning rush hour, killing 39 people. They waited until uh, those trains pulled up to the platform to increase uh, the uh, bombs killing capacity. It was also the scenario back in 2004 when two passenger planes departing from Damodedova exploded mid-air, killing 89 people on board. An investigation later revealed that there was a Chechen suicide bomber, a female suicide bomber on each of the planes, and uh, one of the uh, a, 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 a policemen uh, was later a policeman was uh, later found guilty for uh, allowing these two uh, female suicide bombers and two of their accomplices to get onto the premises of the airport uh, without searching them properly. Now, after that incident, the security at the Damodedova airport has been significantly uh, stepped up and the management of the facility has done everything, has tried at least to do everything in their power to uh, get over that tragedy. And again, when you go through that some of the passengers are sometimes really annoyed by all those security measures that you have to go through. You have to take off your shoes, you have to take off your jacket and so on. But I think now most people really understand what the security measures are about. And I know from my own experience that many people who had relatives and friends traveling at this point are now tra trying frantically to reach them. We're also hearing that uh, some of the uh, mobile networks are having major difficulties in the area of the Doma Dedera, understandably, because so many people are trying to reach their loved ones. But uh, at this point, situation remains very fluid. And again, uh, many people are very concerned that this may not be the end. And we know that police and security services, law enforcement are searching uh, other airports and major public venues here in Moscow for any other possible explosion devices. Now, Oksana, uh, you were mentioning earlier when it came to the uh, Moscow uh, metro blasts of last year that 39 people uh, were, were killed in those. We're now looking at at least 31 killed here in this blast at Domodedovo Airport and 130 injured. It, the, the scale I is comparable here, isn't it, when it's also being listed uh, by the investigative committee in charge as a terror attack. Uh, the, two, the two can be compared, yes? It is heartbreaking. And again, it happened like uh, back uh, there in March of 2010 when those, if you remember, those two blasts, they uh, took place early in the morning when people were going to work, when children and uh, students were uh, going to school. It, it caught them uh, unawares. And you can say it was pretty much the same situation here because we know that these blasts took place at the arrival section. section. So we can assume that most of the people uh, who were either killed or injured in that blast were people returning uh, from a business trip, returning from vacation, families traveling together and, uh, you know, looking forward to finally being home. But now, you know, nobody knows when they can actually get there or if they can get there at all. Now, Oksana, one of the latest uh, uh, news lines I'm getting now is that police are saying that one or several suicide bombers uh, will have been, uh, may have been behind this blast at Jomodedova. Again, as we were saying, uh, targeting the international arrivals and luggage area at Russia's uh, busiest airport here. Um, the investigators must be uh, fanning out uh, across the airport, uh, searching other luggage. As we know, they have already uh, conducted a mandatory evacuation of personnel 
and passengers. Um, K9 units, uh, security guards, what's your expectations for the security sweep now going on? Well, at it's going to take a very, very long time. We've been saying all along that Damodedovo is the largest airport here in Russia. It serv services enormous number of people and you can imagine how much time it will take for all those security personnel to go through every single bag that is now uh, at the Damodedovo airport. And again, there's so many people uh, there at this point. So how do you pick and choose whom to question, whom to detain? So uh, I'm pretty sure that there would be some confusion at the airport at this point. And that's exactly what we are hearing. We are also hearing that uh, some of the, uh, that there is uh, smoke at some of the uh, holes there and people are panicking. People are trying to get out of the Domodedovo airport as quickly as they can. And again, I mean, uh, as you just mentioned, it is a very distant airport, about 20 miles, uh, 20 kilometers from Moscow and getting uh, from there is a bit of a challenge. And uh, I would assume that there are several thousand, maybe, maybe even tens of thousands of people there on location right now, uh, many of them with children, many of them are frightened. So as you can understand, it's a very, very difficult situation for the authorities to deal with.